Hey, my name is Nick Rivers, and today I'm going to show you how to get this exact dialogue sound for your computer. We're going to go through the plugins that I'm using inside the computer. It's only two. And then we're going to go through the equipment that I'm using on the outside of the computer. Let's get right into it. This is great for podcasts, for TikToks, for tutorials, for anything. And you'll notice that plosives are a little bit much right now on this. That's because this wind guard here is not as good as this one that also comes with this microphone but most people are used to seeing this one on the microphone so i thought i'd start with that and then if we pull that off and put that one on that does come with you'll notice that now we have a perfect tone okay so let's start with the hardware on the outside of the computer first off this is a sure sm7b it's kind of the standard for broadcast audio um, and in my opinion it's the best it's very affordable it's like everyone tries to copy this mic and then people will buy copies of the mic but I don't I don't quite know why we're buying copies when the actual thing is still available and super cheap like this is just it's the goat Okay, the other piece of gear that I'm using is a UAD Apollo Twin X, and this microphone is just going straight from the out into the Apollo Twin X. That's it. That's all there is. All right, next let's get into the stuff that's on the computer. So inside the computer here, I'm only using two plugins. You can see I'm recording this right into GarageBand. I chose GarageBand for this video just because it's something that most everyone has on their computer already or that you can get for super cheap to record audio. So here you can see I'm recording my audio right into GarageBand. So what you're hearing is the true thing that I'm teaching how to make. There's two plugins. The first one is in console, which this is something that comes with UAD Apollo um, to control your hardware. So I'm using the Unison preamp here, and I'm using the Neve 1073. This was an additional purchase, but it just has the perfect sound. And now I'm, we're just going to use a few presets. So I use the Jaquire King vocal preset, so click on that. And then I just set it to 70 because that seems to be a good volume here. I like to get it around 12. And you can see I'm bouncing above and below that from just using normal volumes. And then if I do that, it's still, I've got a little bit of headroom there. Okay, so the next plugin that I'm using is Inside GarageBand. And it's a simple one. It's just CLA Vocals, which is a Waves plugin. You can find it on Waves.com. Here it is on sale right now for $35.99. And, um... Yeah, it's just, it's a simple one. I know there's some hate on this plugin because I think people are like, it's just too easy. And yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so the CLA plugin we put on here. And then I just use the preset face to face dry. You can see it right there. I don't even mess with it. Just put it on. And if your voice sounds too low, lower this one, the bass. And if it sounds too high, lower this one. And then you can compress it more or less, and you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. That's how I get this awesome vocal sound for dialogue, for tutorials, for any sort of talking, really. This is what I use. And I honestly use this for some vocals, too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And please subscribe.